Jasmine, I'm glad you got my message about the red. Yes, come on. <laughs> Look. You gotta wear some color. Look at you, Brian, with your thighs out. You got your- uh, it's, it's thigh boy summer? Is that what it is? Is that what yes. it is? Yes, you got your Uchi daddy shorts on. I, I love it. Very early. Back. Listen, I loved this film. You guys get to revisit this world of being parents to a very problematic, okay, I won't call him problematic. He's a terrible <laughs> teenager. How would you describe the parenting of Miles Morales? We're Brooklyn parenting is what we're doing. That's the only way to do it. Latina parenting. You know what I mean? All of that. And we're just trying to keep him on the right path by guiding him the best way that we can, while also not knowing that he is out in the streets trying to save the world at the same time. I gotta go. All right, everybody. Bye. He's lying to you. And I think you know it. There's so many other cultures that we are including. And it is this wonderfully diverse world, which yep. I think is great. But personally, I love this Afro-Latina, African-American parenting. It's just a reflection of love and the yeah. world we live in. You know what I mean? These are the families that I saw. Yeah. These are the yeah. families that I grew up with. And so to know that we now have a hero that represents that and also comes from a family unit that loves each other and that is together. Like, it's just something that I think people need to see more of. I think this inclusion and this representation is especially necessary in the world of fantasy because it is not just a fantasy. It's something that is an actual reality. We wanted to make sure that we brought all of those flavors and all of those colors to this movie.